Hi, my name is Wayne. I am an ASC certified master technician. I have over 34 years of experience. Today, you and I are going to help to repair your car. Today we have a customer that brought us their 2004 Honda Civic with a 1.7 liter single overhead cam VTEC engine. The customer is complaining about an overheating condition that doesn't show up until about 15 to 20 minutes after driving. And at the same time, they can smell a sweet smell coming from inside their car. For today's diagnostic and repair, we will be using our cooling system pressure tester our hose clamp pliers, our pick tool, a 10 millimeter 3 8 drive socket, a 3 8 drive ratchet, our laser thermometer, the flashlight, our coolant catch pan, safety goggles, and safety gloves. Our visual inspection should begin with the obvious things. Make sure that our radiator cap is in place. Our coolant recovery jar is there. There's no obvious signs of paper stuck in the radiator or in the fan. And there appears to be nothing wrong with the connections of the hoses at this point. The hoses are all connected. Now we need to check the coolant level. During our visual diagnostics, we noticed there's a lot of scale and coolant residue around the cap area. We suspect that we may have a leak. There's coolant residue all over the side of the engine. So let's look and see how the radiator level is. With it completely cooled down, we're gonna squeeze the upper radiator hose to make sure there's no pressure and remove the cap now that it's safe to do so. The coolant level is very low in the radiator, so we have a leak. Now we're going to use our pressure testing system to help us locate that leak. Now, before we can pressure check the system, we have to fill it full of coolant. Otherwise, we're not gonna see where the leak is. So we're going to put the coolant in it and then hook up our pressure tester. Now, when we hook up our tester, we're gonna put the pressure that's recommended by the manufacturer or that's on the cap. This one is 1.1 bars, and that's roughly 16 PSI. We don't want to exceed that pressure. So at 16 pounds of pressure, we're going to look for a leak. And we see there's a hole in our upper radiator hose. That would account for why there's all of this debris around this area. We're going to replace the upper radiator hose and the clamps as well, as they lose their tension over time. Since this car has been overheating, it is a good idea to replace the thermostat as well while we are here and to give the cooling system a thorough flush. And now we're gonna pull off the lower radiator hose. Before we install our new hoses, we want to compare them to the old hoses, making sure that they're the same and correct diameter and that the bends are appropriate. Now we will install our new hoses. It's important to make sure the clamp is above the raised area or the lip on the nipple protruding. Once the clamp is above that area, but yet away from the top of the hose, we will release the tension. And we'll slide our clamp in as we did on the lower hose. Slide it over. And when it's above the radius, we will release it. With our engine at idle, we want to use our laser thermometer and check the temperature of the lower radiator hose. It should be very close to the upper radiator hose temperature when the thermostat is open. We've allowed the car to idle while we have the heater on. That will help to purge any air out of the system that may have remained since we had all of the coolant drained out of it. The temperature gauge has 
maintained a level that's no longer going up and down, which tells us that we've got the majority of the air out of it. With a stable temperature gauge, now it's time for a road test. We've just returned from a long road test. The temperature gauge is stable, and this condition that was caused by a coolant leak from an upper radiator hose, I think we've got it fixed. Now there are several conditions that can cause the car to overheat, and we will address those in upcoming videos. Now we have professionally diagnosed, professionally checked, and professionally repaired this vehicle. Job well done, and the keys go to you.